Hey guys, and um, welcome back to another episode of this, and I apparently have a new message! Um, horses- oh yeah, I sent her, um, an email, let's see what she said. So let's reply, I asked her if, like, her horses were- a barn in her um, home. She has a barn that says horses for sale, and she. I asked her if they were for sale. So she says yes. Is why they say it's for sale. Both of them are horses for sale. Are you interested? So let's reply to her and say, yeah. Which ones are there? Which ones are for sale? I decided to do like a tutorial if you are um, like new to this game or stuff like that. So yeah. <clears throat> I mean, um, so this is your farm area. This is basically the map of your whole area. So when you click on Enter and Create Horses, you can like find shows, and you can enter in horses. So this is what you have to pay, and this is how much experience you get. And then this is like the level, and then that's the event. And here's the show name, and then that's when you, um, that's when it happens. Um, these are already gone, but, so yeah. <clears throat> um, then up here is where your messages are, your game credits, um, you can buy stuff with this, that's all I know about it, and this is your coins, and you can buy horses and stuff with it, and yeah. And then this is the experience for your horses. So then when we go here, this is how to trade items with people. Um, so, um, see it says your trades, so you can like, this is all your trades that you like have, and you can, so this is your offer. And this is what the cost is, and this is how many numbers of people want it. And this is the time left, and then that's to, if you want to cancel your trade. So this is, like, my trade history. So, like, um, I traded these guys and stuff. And so, yeah, that's where your trades are, and if you can, you can, um, Cancel them in the time, like, that you bought it. Like, there's, like, 24 hours or whatever. And then here is where you can trade with somebody random. So, let's say if I wanted um, to give away some of my wool to get some, let's say, sugar or carrot. Um, I would click on my wool. And then I would click on the carrot. And then I would trade like that. So you can also go to buy items, and this is where you can buy like horses and other stuff without trading. You just have to pay money for that stuff. So up here is where you can like go. You can make it like in like a dime. Like you can minimize it, I guess. So let's say if you wanted to get coins, you could click coins, and here it says. Um, you can get coins for 500 water. Sorry if there's noise in the background. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. <clears throat> so, you can buy horses. And, so, this is basically what you do. You can pick a gender. So, I'm just going to leave it at stallion. And then you can pick a horse breed. So, let's say I just want a unicorn. And then, to see your horse, you have to actually click a color. And then, the color will come. And then you can choose its, like, trait, like, it's specialized, like, like some, something it's good at. So let's say it's racing, it's good at racing. And then it, speed, this is what its skill trait is, so, like, what do you want it to be really good at? Like, let's say obedience. And then this is what you have to pay. I don't have that many money. But, yeah. Then if you go to this horse, oh, yeah, also you can click next horse to get a different option or a previous horse. Um, so if you click your, the horse here, um, then 
it will bring you to your main barn, the first one that you get, and that's my magnificent mare barn. So here are my horses, and if um, there's none that are red right now, but maybe in the mare, in the stallions, it might be. But then you can just click on your horse from here, and um, you can see it there. And um, here, if it says this is its ex this is experience. It's, yeah, you basically can see all that. So if its happiness is low, if you scroll over one of these, it will say gently pass, pat the horse to add happiness points or something. So you can do that. So let's just do that for an example. And um, <clears throat> um, your horse happiness will go up. You can also feed treats and brush it. Um, when you go to actions... You can um, uh, do all this. You can look at this. You can change its tack, which is all this stuff. So you can give the horse a saddle or something. And this is the only saddle that you have right now. So that's the only one you can get. But you can also buy saddles or trade them. So then you can breed the horse if you click here. Or you can... Um, Change. You can transfer the horse to a different stable. You can make a description. You can trade your horse. You can add experience. I keep saying XP, but I want to say XP, but I don't want to. I want to say experience because XP is kind of confusing. So you can add magic to the horse. I don't know what that does. Oh, so you can make it like, you can have it like something. I don't know. So you can also click breeding, and then you can look at the requests. You can breed it with one of your horses. You have to be at a certain level, and I think this horse is in. I don't know. So when it says statistics, you can view its skills. You can view its specs. Its horse history. Sorry about that. My mom is calling. So, um... Um, it says the old name, but I don't know how to change that, so I don't know. You can, um, you can view its children. So these are all its children. And these are all the owners, which is kind of sad. And if you want to view one of the horses, you can always click on them, and I think it will bring it to you. Yeah, it will bring you to it. And... So, um, what you can do is, like, you can, um, buy it, I think. Let me feed it. I don't want it to be. So, uh, I don't know how you buy it from here, but I would really like to buy it, because that's so sad, being pulled away from your family. Can I buy Kamache? So, let's see if we can buy this horse, because I really want it. Does it have any children? This horse has no children. So, let me, um, let's see, so let's see, it's Kamache. So, I uh, don't know how to buy it right now. Um, let's go back to Apple. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, basically that's what you can do. Um, yeah. So, you can go to the friends chat wheel and games. So, if you go to games, um, it will bring you to this little area, and whatever lights up, like, let's see, this lights up orange, this lights up, I mean, red, this lights, whatever lights up, and you, when you scroll over, it says, like, click to play tic-tac-toe or whatever. You can click it, and some games you have to play with somebody, like this one, you have to, and some games you don't, like Hangman and um, Ping Pong. You spelled Pong, or Pong? Oh. So you can also go to the wheel. I don't have any tokens, I don't think. Oh, I actually do. So you can take your token, and you can spin the wheel. I don't really want to right now, because you can, tr you can like, put up these for money and stuff. Um, I don't know. So, um, you can go to game chat, but my computer does not allow it. Um, you can go to friends, and these are my two friends right now. Um, this is my brother, and then this is just my friend. <laughs> um, so.
so you can go to blogs and you can find your player's blog but I don't have I don't think they have any blogs so yeah so when you go to your ranch um, it will well your map basically when you scroll over things that well you can read it so this is your home a barn and so um, let's say if you wanted to go to um, the super stallions you would go to the super stallions and let's see you wanted to go let's go to this one so um with these horses i think you don't have to feed them because they're magical i'm pretty sure i don't know but it never lets me feed it and it doesn't come up it has one child and yeah so basically that's what you can do and you can view the children stuff and i really love this game and i really hope you love it too you can go and find it and everything and um yeah so let's um i really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um i'll come out with more um you know tutorials um there's one more thing i really want to show you um when you go to barns it will tools and you can do the gentix tool or genetics tool or whatever um the level xp tool the full level tool um upgrade, you can upgrade the stable to hold more horses you can change the name of the current stable like I did. You can cross breed check or whatever. So yeah, I really th hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I really hope you um gives you a better understanding now. Yeah, bye.